Hello, my name is Doug, and welcome to Air Purification Education. And today, I'm going to talk about the relevance or irrelevance of the CADR ratings for air purifiers. CADR stands for Clean Air Delivery Rate, and it was developed by AHAM in the 1980s. And AHAM is the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers. It was supposed to help the general public evaluate standalone air purifiers. Unfortunately, it has many weaknesses, and I would never refer to it when consulting with customers for the best solution for their needs. Here are just some of the problems associated with the CADR ratings. Number one, CADR only tests performance for the first 20 minutes of operation. However, most all air purifiers decline in performance over time. Many start to decline after only one hour. The more dust and debris that builds up inside most units makes it easier for dirty air to bypass the filters. Some air purifiers lose even 50% of their effectiveness over just eight weeks. So a 20 minute test on a brand new air purifier with brand new filters is not indicative of how the unit will actually perform for you on a day-to-day -day basis in the real world over the coming weeks and months. Number two, CADR does not test for ultrafine particles, which are particles smaller than 0.1 microns. And ultrafine particles make up 90% of all the particulates in the air that we breathe, and they pose the biggest health risk. Therefore, the CADR test does not test for 90% of the particulates in our air. Number three, the CADR testing chamber is not representative of most real world environments. The CADR test takes place in a very small chamber. It is a very small room, which is only 11 feet by 11 feet with eight foot ceilings, which is only 968 cubic feet, which is basically a small office or a small bedroom. I can say that less then 5% of the people I consulted with over the past 15 years were looking for an air purification solution for only 121 square feet. It definitely does not represent the typical environment for the vast majority of consumers. Also, the test is conducted with the air purifiers in the middle of the room, which is atypical of a real world implementation. Not many consumers are able to put their air purifiers in the middle of their rooms. None of my air purifiers are, are in the middle of my rooms in my house. Plus, they have an overhead fan to distribute the air throughout the room during the test, which is also super atypical of the vast majority of real world implementations. Not everybody and the vast majority of people do not have a fan running from their ceiling, you know, when their air purifiers are running as well. Also, the chamber only has one sensor. Number four, the CFM ratings on air purifiers from manufacturers are oftentimes not accurate. I personally don't think the CFM, which is the cubic feet per minute ratings that we see on the air purifiers are actually the true performance ratings of the units. I was in a meeting with a fan engineering expert a few years ago, and his job was to test fans for a manufacturer and help come up with better fan performance for their products and he said most all the CFM ratings that we see on products are inaccurate. The products almost never perform at the CFM levels that the manufacturers say they do. So I almost always tell people to subtract 20% or even more off the official cubic footage area that the manufacturers say their products can accommodate. If they say their unit can do 1,000 square feet, I guess that means it will probably do more like 800 or 700 square feet, but it depends on some variables as well. Manufacturers are somewhat forced to increase some of the numbers on their specifications once their competitors do, so they can remain competitive. Number five, many of the best air purifying units on the market don't even have a CADR rating. For example, Austin Air is an American manufactured air purifier, and I have three of them in my house and I've had them for 15 years, and they don't have a CADR rating, and I've sold tons of them to schools. <laughs> Likewise, IQ Air doesn't have a CADR rating on their units either, and I own the IQ Air brand as well. And IQ Air was well known in the industry as the best air purifier in the United States for particulate filtering for over 15 years. 
and the world for that matter. IQ Air creates world-class air purification solutions. I've worked with many hospitals through the past 15 years, and they would only order IQ Air units, no other brand. And I sold thousands of dollars worth of IQ Air units to hospitals throughout the years. And when SARS broke out in Asia in 2003, the government had thousands of IQ Air units installed in many of their hospitals. When China was having horrible air quality issues over the past several years, the number one air purifier that people called me to have shipped to China was the IQ Air Health Pro Plus by far. Like 99% of the time, they wanted IQ Air because they knew it was the best and they wanted like thousands of units, okay? Everyone in our industry knows that IQ Air is top echelon. Now you go on YouTube these days and you're going to see some channels testing units and saying things like, you know, uh, things like a, a $150 Winix unit is just as good as a $900 IQ or Health Pro Plus. And I mean, my head almost explodes when I see things like this, when I see these types of comparisons, okay? And I'm not hating on Winix. I actually even own Winix as well. I own both brands. But that's like comparing a Chevy Malibu to a Bentley, okay? Yes, they're both cars, but they're engineered completely differently, okay? There is no comparison. So there's just so much misinformation out there. But basically, you know, if companies like IQ Air and Austin Air, who, you know, manufacture some of the best air purifiers on the market, and they go in hospitals and schools, you know, all over the world, if they don't have CADR ratings on their units, and even I've purchased both of them, because I know there's some of the best solutions on the market, that should tell you something. Even Dyson has said the CADR ratings are not based on real world environments. And they've come up with some of their own testing methodologies for air purification. And we could go on and on about the issues with the CADR ratings, but we're gonna stop right here. In summation, the reasons I would not pay any attention to the CADR ratings are, number one, it tests for only 20 minutes, which completely invalidates the test right there in my opinion. Number two, it does not test for ultrafine particulates smaller than 0.1 microns that are the most harmful to us and make up 90% of the particulates in our air. Number three, the CADR testing chamber is not representative of a real world environment for multiple reasons. Number four, I seriously question the CFM ratings of the units that they're basing their testing on. And number five, many of the best air purifiers on the market do not even have a CADR rating, and you don't want to restrict your options if you really need a good solution. So please let me know if you have any uh, you know, additional questions for me. You can leave them below, and I'll try to answer them in the comments section. You can get a free email consultation with me at airpurificationeducation.com. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope the content is useful. Until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.